President Biden delivered his most direct condemnation of former President Donald Trump in his first campaign speech of this election year. Today marks three years since the January 6 attack at the Capitol. During his speech in Battleground, Pennsylvania Friday, Mr. Biden called it the day we nearly lost America. And he warned that with a likely rematch with Trump this year, America's democracy is on the ballot. Also on Friday, the Supreme Court agreed to review Colorado's decision to disqualify Trump from the state's primary ballot over his actions surrounding January 6. Christina Ruffini is at the White House. Christina, good morning. Good morning, Nancy. Well, if the Biden campaign relaunch is feeling a bit like deja vu all over again, that's because the messaging so far is very similar to what we heard the last time he ran, fo focusing less on his time in office than what he says could be the consequences of putting Trump back in the White House. Donald Trump's campaign is obsessed with the past, not the future. He's willing to sacrifice our democracy. Put himself in power. With a 2020 rematch looking more and more likely, President $7 Biden $7 argued dollars. that the stakes are even higher the second time around. It's the first national election since January 6th. Insurrection placed a dagger at the throat of American democracy since that moment. We all know who Donald Trump is. The question we have to answer is, who are we? Before his speech at a Pennsylvania community college, President Biden visited George Washington's Valley Forge headquarters from the Revolutionary War. America made a vow, never again would we bow down to a king. Here, we're going to walk down to the Capitol. Biden criticized Trump's inaction on January 6th, accused him of trying to rewrite history, and appeared to stop himself from swearing when referencing the way Trump talked about an assault on former Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi's husband. He laughed about it. What a sick... <laughs> With just more than 300 days before Americans go back to the polls and razor-thin polling, the Biden campaign is sticking with a tried-and-true method, making the election about something bigger than the candidate. Today, I make this sacred pledge to you, the defense, protection, and preservation of American democracy will remain, as it has been, the central cause of my presidency. But the Biden campaign strategy so far hasn't focused too much of its messaging on his actual presidency. Democracy is on the ballot. Your freedom is on the ballot. And even though the U.S. job market and overall economy is fairly strong, lack of consumer confidence makes the issue more of a liability than an asset for Biden on the trail. With 76 percent of Americans saying their income isn't keeping up with inflation, according to a CBS News poll. Now, we're going to start to see the campaign rev into gear in earnest. On Monday, President Biden is going to head to Mother Emanuel AME Church in South Carolina, where a racially motivated shooting killed nine people in 2015. And, Michelle, if you remember, South Carolina was a pivotal primary for him in 2020, and black Democratic voters were and are a key part of his winning nomination. Saw it happen in real time. Christina Ruffini, thank you.